Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's doing okay. So, on the 27th of November, I done a video, and it was a tour of my collection, and I showed you one of my tarantulas, which was the Brachypalma homori. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a while, uh, you will know that it's got that dyskinetic syndrome, and in that tour video, I did mention that its um, abdomen was going black, which is a massive indication that it's going to uh, flip over and molt. And we have some fantastic news, everybody. I have just checked my collection, and the Brachypalma homori has flipped over, and it has freshly molted. So let's take the enclosure off the shelf, and uh, let's take a look. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's the enclosure. So let's just take the lid off, and don't worry, I'll use my... Uh, I use my flashlight. Oh, it looks like it's still got that dyskinetic syndrome. So there is the actual trancher, everybody, and uh, I'm not too sure when he did actually molt. As I said, I checked it a couple of days ago, and it didn't molt then. So it could have been, you know, 24 hours ago, you know, 36 hours ago, day and a half. It looks like it's. Um, Eating its malt. Sometimes tarantulas do that. Um, I think I did see somebody say on one of the tarantula Facebook groups that they eat their malt to gather moisture back into their body. And it looks like the tarantula's malted perfectly fine. But it does look like it's still got that dyskinetic syndrome. Uh, let's just give the yeah, it still looks it's not look too bad yeah it's still still flapping around um I'm not sure if it's yeah it's still flapping uh, let's just yeah let's take, take that malt out. Yep, there we go. Oh, well, unfortunately, everybody, the malt hasn't worked. Ah, I honestly thought this was going to work, everybody. But unfortunately, it hasn't. But uh, what I'll do is I'll fill the water dish up. I'll leave him for about a week or so and let his... Uh, body hardened up, hardened up, so let's just uh, quickly fill the water dish and while I'm here everybody, let's show you how the mature male G. rosea is getting on so guys, there is my mature male Gramasola rosea and as you know, he has that dyskinetic syndrome so let's just give him a little touch let's see if he's okay yeah, he's doing alright uh, personally, I think he's not doing too bad actually. I think his uh, DKS is not as bad as it was, but he's still, you know, moving a little bit strange. But while we're here, everybody, let's say uh, grab a superworm and uh, let's see if he's hungry. Here goes everyone. Let's see if he's hungry. We'll give him a couple of tries. Uh, if you didn't know, mature males don't really eat very much. All they're interested in is breeding with a female. And that's why you get a lot of mature males start pacing the tank, just looking for the female, and uh, they'll do a sperm web, which they'll crawl underneath the web. It looks like they're molting, but they're actually collecting sperm from the web to put inside their sperm sacs, which is called the emboli. Uh, doesn't look like he's interested. It was worth a try. He's only eaten probably one superworm in the last three or four weeks. That's why you see a lot of mature males with uh, very small abdomens. And it's just that they don't really eat very much. And Gramosolas, the species, they like it very, very dry. So if you keep it bone dry like this and just keep filling the water dish up, 
And that's perfectly fine for them. And the water dish is just set. I'll just uh, top that up a little bit later. But no, I don't think he's interested, everyone. Worth a try. So, unfortunately, that uh, malt didn't work on the Brachypalma Hamori, which is worth a try. But, like I said, I'll give him probably about another five days to recover from his malt. Then I'll try him with a feed. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.